Hi Outliers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Diki Sayo and I'm a travel and lifestyle brand. I have a YouTube channel, I blog and I have a podcast to so make sure you check that out. It's called The Big Dreamers Podcast. Yes, so today I'm coming at you with um, something new, so to say. So I, I did a video, Bilike So Shukmo. It's basically the video showing the Queen of Sheba, the destination in Ogun State, where the Queen of Sheba in the Bible was buried. You should check it out. I'll put a link somewhere up there. So I asked um, questions on my Instagram. If you're not following me by the way, you should. I asked people to leave their questions if they have any, if they want me to cover more things I was not able to cover in the video documentary that I did and even in the blog post that I did. Yes, description below. Make sure you check that out also. My blog, www.fair.com. Thevisire.com. <laughs> Yes, and a few of you ask questions. I'm going to be addressing that today, so make sure you stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. So, for those of you who are not new to my channel, you must have seen me doing videos like this, talking to you guys in two different settings either with this white background or with a similar setting. Let me know which you prefer so I can continue with that. If you like the white background in the comment section, make sure you leave white background. If you like the other background that has the glowy, you know, thing going on at the back, let me know too so I can stick to what suits you or I can do more of that. Yeah. So let's get straight into the questions, shall we? One of the questions I received came from Oe. She, she says, or oh, her question says, does the man live inside the air? I'm guessing the man she's referring to is this. So this man is basically a tour guide, so to say. In the video, I also mentioned we're waiting for the tour guide. The tour guide went to greet the ballet. You should watch that video if you haven't to know more of what I said. And basically, the man lives in the community. Of course, he doesn't live in uh, Anona. He does not live inside. The burial site is in the community and it is being watched over by the ballet now ballet is who you call the community head in a rural community in lagos um, in the yoruba land so to say so that man is not the ballet but he is let's say the family member or a close relation of the ballet because when we went to greet the ballet he was with the ballet the ballet handed over the key to him to open the door for us even though we females were not able to enter mm -hmm. which brings me to my next question why are females not allowed to enter Again, I don't think if you I don't think you watched the video. If you did, you would know the reason why females are not allowed to enter. So I mentioned in my previous video that females are not allowed to enter because of one major reason. Before the Queen of Sheba died, she when she needed or when she came around and she needed help from females or from women, they did not give her help. They did not render help to her. They were not there for her basically. And she then said and she made a curse or she said that when I die, no female, no woman must be allowed to see my burial site. And that is what happened, that I heard. And that I also researched and found out. So yeah, that's the backstory. Now, I got a question saying, who is the Queen of Sheba? My bad, I actually thought everybody would know who the Queen of Sheba is, but apparently not. In the Bible, she was King Solomon's, would I say wife? Yeah, wife, you can call her. His wife. So with that said, I also Google so that I can give you word for word what Google or Wikipedia as it is says. Queen of Sheba is the first figure, is a figure first mentioned in the Hebrew Bible. In the original story, she brings a caravan of valuable gift for King Solomon. So yeah, she's basically a huge character in the Bible, mostly in the Old Testament. And most people travel to egypt and similar countries that have a significance to the bible to you know that draw inspiration go there for prayers or whatnot basically just for tourist attractions and it happens that we have here one of the bible heritage in nigeria in the states states be specific and yeah i'm excited about that people should know more about that that's why i did that video if you haven't checked it out once again go check it out why did it take for like okay it wasn't really okay she said Four hours from Lagos to Ijebuode. Wow. So this is from Busola. She has been to Ijebuode before. She was surprised that took me that long to get to the place. Ordinarily, you shouldn't, but the routes we took, I first went to Abe Okuta to meet up with some other travel bodies. From Abe Okuta, we now journeyed. It was like a U-turn, kind of, 
back to Ijebude. That's why it took re took really long, and there was also a little bit of traffic. It's, for her, she said the longest that's ever taken her is three hours to get to Ijebude. So I'm guessing the distance will vary for different persons depending on how you move or what your planning is like. Mimi says, really? This is an interesting story. Yes, Mimi, really. Um, one of the questions I also got anyways was, is this really the Queen of Sheba's site? The only response I have for that is that it was confirmed by Peter Darling. And I, I know Peter, I keep saying Peter, Patrick Darling. I keep putting it as a reference. He's an archaeologist from Parliament University in the United Kingdom. So an archaeologist wouldn't say something when it isn't, especially when it's a trusted source. So that's like my only answer for that question. When you last say also ask, but can they level the ground so it makes it more peaceful? Oh, I also mentioned in the video that right now, even though the place looks like this, they plan to make it look like this. So they plan to make it look like this. Right now it's not looking the best, it's not looking as beautiful as it should be because if we really want to attract international tourists, there are better ways to go around these things. Dubai was not what it is right now, eight years ago. What am I even going too far? Like, let's say seven years ago. Like, it wasn't as they planned towards it. So right now, from what I have had uh, the opportunity to hear and conver had conversations with the Commissioner of Tourism, he says, and I've seen the master plan, which is what I've shown you guys, that they plan to make it something like this. So they're basically waiting for investors also trying to see how best they can execute this plan amongst many other things that they have on ground. I think that's about it. I think I covered all the questions that I can find right now. So I hope this video has brought some form of enlightenment or information to you in some way or the other. If you have any more questions, please leave it in the comments section below. I'll be very much happy to answer your questions. And if you want to know the best route to take, the best route is Lagos, from Lagos to Ujebude. If you need a tour guide, let me know. I can always link you up with the best person. And yeah, anything, just let me know in the comment section below. I'm very, very much happy to answer your questions. If you have questions for me, leave it there or send me, send an email to H-E-L-L-O at thefistire.com. Yes, I'm happy that you stay tuned to this very moment. You deserve some accolades and do not forget to also give this video a super big thumbs up like thumbs up like share with your family and friends if you think it's worth sharing and most important thing if you're not subscribed mbok miko kedu all the languages i can speak <laughs> please subscribe and i'll see you in my next video till next time do not forget to follow me on instagram and twitter and yeah, and stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace.